Three identical train cars coupled together are rolling east at 2.5 meters per second. A fourth car traveling east at 3.8 meters per second catches up with the three cars and couples together to make a four car train. A moment later, the train has hit a fifth car that was at rest on the tracks and it couples to make a five car train. What is the speed of the five car train? Okay, so this is really two problems in one. So let's just work on the first part, the three cars together with the fourth car catching up to it. So we have one, two, three cars rolling along a track at 2.5 meters per second. And they tell us the masses are identical, but they don't tell us what it is. So let's just say it's M, M, and M. Then they say a fourth car, assumed to also be M, comes along and catches up with them going 3.8 meters per second, and they link to form a four car chain. Two, three, and four, okay. So now let's go ahead and talk about the, the masses again. Since they don't tell us what it is, they just tell us it's identical. Really, for the math, we could pick whatever we want M to be. We could say, hey, there are a thousand kilograms, or there are a hundred kilograms, or why don't we just make it easier on ourselves and say they're one kilogram. It's all going to give us the same answer, so let's pick something easy. So let's say they're one kilogram. So we have M1V1 plus M2V2 is going to equal M3V3. So now what are the masses? Well, this is one kilogram times its speed of 3.8 meters per second plus the mass of these ones, and there's three of them, so that's three kilograms times their velocity, which was 2.5 meters per second equals the masses of all of them together, which is now four kilograms times their speed, which we don't know and we will need to find out. So let's go ahead and solve for that. Let's divide both sides by four kilograms. So divide this whole side by four kg. I'll scroll up a little bit, give us some more room. All right, so now we have 3.8. Uh, plus 3 times 2.5, which is 7.5. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that and just put that one in. So 7.5. Okay, and that's all over 4 kilograms, which will give us V3. So V3, when we do that, gives us 2.825 meters per second. All right, awesome, so that's the first part. So now, let's draw the new picture. So they say we have the four carts are traveling along at this speed now. What was that? 2.825 meters per second. And they catch up to a fifth car, which is at rest. So it's at zero meters per second. But that's also M. So that's also now, for our sake, going to be one kilogram. So now we have M1V1 plus, plus M2V2 is equal to M3V3, which is now going to be five of these guys. All right, well, V2 right here is zero meters per second. So this whole term is gonna go away because we'll have M2 times zero. So now we have M1V1 equals M3V3, and we wanna solve for the final speed of the five card train. So let's divide over M3, divide over M3, so V3, 
is equal to m1v1 divided by m3. So when you plug in the numbers, since we're saying these are 4 kilograms, let's look at this. So when we plug it in, we get m1 is 4 kilograms times 2.825 over 5 kilograms. So really mathematically what's going on here is we're saying that after these trains hit this we're going to get four-fifths of the speed that we had initially. So we take four-fifths times 2.825 and that gives us our final speed which is, let me grab my calculator, so 2.825 times 4 fifths gives us our final speed of the five car train which is 2.26 meters per second or 2.3.